So, the good looking guy here is Randall. The one that looks like an Ethiopian is uh, Trevor. <laughs> and, uh, and we're here looking at a house. Now it's kind of funny, because if you kind of look back in here, you can kind of see what we've got here. It looks like we've got the Western uh, motif on the, the, these cabinets here, you know, where somebody stenciled that in and, and that. But uh, sometimes you get into a project and you're just not sure what you're doing. And this is pretty much what happened here, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think so. You know, it looks like they started something out, had a cool idea and thought, hey, I'm gonna make this the best house ever. But their $5,000 budget turned into $25,000 in repairs that's needed, and they got stuck. And so this is where we come in and we're able to say, okay, um, you know, you're upside down on this one, now you're, you can't finish it. You can't borrow money on it. You know, nobody's going to lend you money because you have yeah. too many. There's not enough equity in it is the problem. And what can we do? And so um, in a situation like this, what do we do, Trevor? Well, the homeowner's stuck. Like you said, they can't sell it with a conventional loan because it's not habitable in its current condition. Right. So if they're out of money, they have two options. They can give it back to whoever their lender is, which is a bad deal, or they can find another person to pick up the project that can finish the project and, and get it done. And hopefully in that situation, they walk away with a little bit more money in their pocket, which is where we come in exactly. Right. So, so this is a situation where we come in with our guys, we pick up the project, we finish it out, and then you know sometimes we'll partner with investors on these. Sometimes we will just buy them outright and take over the deal so they don't have the headache or the worry about it anymore. And you know everybody's got a situation. That's that second option is probably what we're doing with this house right now. And these people are, I mean, they're not desperate. I mean, it's not going to foreclosure, right? No, no, not going to foreclosure. There's definitely equity in this house. Um, but it turned out to be more work than was expected. Right. And I think that's what they're facing is, you know, if they borrow the money to fix it, then there's zero equity yet. I mean, it's yeah, not. they could put themselves in a position where there is no more money in it and possibly lose money depending on time and how much they spend, you know, based on what, how effective they are with their contractors. So if you're in doubt, give us a call. We'll come look at it and, uh, We'll be happy to tell you what we can do, and, and Trevor's a master of trying to figure out the best thing possible for, for sellers on property, and so we, we'd be happy to talk with you and at least give you an honest opinion. Thank you. Thanks.